everybody, it's Marion, and I'm um, doing a fa face mask Monday. Um, but first, I'm going to wash this all off. This is Sunday night that I'm doing this face mask Monday because Monday we're heading out to get the RV, finally. It's been a long, long journey. Uh, we were supposed to pick it up on Friday, and he called us at 5.30 Friday. No, we're supposed to pick it up on Saturday. So Friday, he calls us about 5.30 because he's been calling us about 5.30 every night since for the past week. So uh, he called us on Friday night at 5.30 and said he took it out for a really long ride for about 45 minutes. And as he was coming off the interstate, he felt something with the back brakes. So, and the brakes was one of the jobs that he did with the engine. So um, he took it back into the shop and he said, we can't work on it this weekend. Remember that it's been 111 and 112 degrees um, here in California in a Reading area. So we understood totally that he couldn't make his guys work of the weekend. We didn't expect him to. So tomorrow he's supposed to get a, get the um, RV started early tomorrow morning, which is Monday. And um, so, uh, yeah, so that's what he's doing. And so we'll be busy getting out and getting, first of all, we're gonna do the, um, the live, our live on Monday morning. And then we're gonna, we don't have to be out to the hotel until 11. So then we're getting out of here and then we're gonna probably go to a movie to kill time because you know, it's too hot to just sit outside and wait. And we're not sure what time he's gonna be finished with the RV. So that being said, we're gonna start um, face mask Monday. Right okay, now. this is a little bit crooked, but it's the only way I could figure out how to set this camera up uh, for my face washing routine. Um, so yeah, hang on just a second while I get a washcloth. And like I said, we're in a hotel here in Reading. And, um, okay, so this is what I'm using for my, uh, face wash. It's e.l.f. Uh, Daily Face Cleanser. So I don't like that. I have to have a little hotter water. Okay. Yes, I got a haircut. And I wasn't too crazy about it when I first got it. But as I work with it, I like it better. Okay. Mm, all over here. I think my mask that I was going to use is out in the car. So I'll have to run out there and get it. Okay. I should probably use my washcloth that I used last night because it always gets all black. And I don't want to dirty another washcloth. Hold on just a minute. All right, this is the one I used, and I'll use it again. <laughs> all right, so I hope you all had a great weekend. And I don't know what your uh, temperatures have been, but man, ours have been really hot here. And I'm taking off oh, a mascara as well. <sighs> So I don't know if any of you have seen Nate's latest video, but he's got one up on that guy on YouTube. And it's a prelude to Halloween. So if you're interested in his Halloween videos, go ahead over there and watch it. All right. Get some of this mascara off. I don't know what you guys use to get your mascara off but anytime I try to use makeup uh, removals it doesn't work for me so I just use a soap of some sort okay all right 
that's that on that getting that all taken care of so yeah we'll be starting our venture to Ohio probably hopefully hopefully by Tuesday because Monday we're gonna be staying in Shingletown again Shingleton Shingletown California so hopefully after we get the um, RV cleaned up because we know that it's going to need some cleaning because it's been gone from us for six to eight weeks now. And um, the guy said they did clean the refrigerator because I guess we left some cream cheese in there and it probably started stinking or something. So anyway. All right. I'll be right back. I'm going to take you in the other room and get this Okay, mess today started. I'm going to be doing the Cabela Bath and Beauty Relaxing lavender mud mask now you know i love mud masks so i got this at target the other day while nate was doing his video i was shopping in target and i got another one too but for right now we're gonna do this one all right let's open it up you just saw that i did wash my face and it took off my little headband because it was painful. All right, let's see if we can get this. There we go. I don't know, I think this is more than one mask. Oh, it smells so good. Mmm. And I didn't put any other kind of lotion or cream on my face. Oh. Mm. Yeah, I think this is more than one application, which is good. And it's really warm from the car because I left it out in the car, I don't know, for three days. <laughs> and it's, like I said, it's really, really hot out there. A little bit on my eyelids there. Now I don't have my little mirror with me, so I don't know how great this is going to be, but I think it's good right now. Okay, I think I got enough under my eye. Here. Okay, so I'm going to sit here and watch 50 First Dates while this dries, and then I will be back. See you in a little bit. Okay, this is pretty much dry, and we're back in the bathroom. So, I'm going to run some water here, and we're going to get this mask off. Ooh, it is tight as tight can be. And it's not quite dry up there, because I put more up there after I went offline, or off camera. So, let's get this off. Whew. It's really starting to uh, feel a little hot and stingy. It really shouldn't though because it is lavender. So I don't know. But I think it'll make my face feel really good once I get it off. It's easy to come off too. And I haven't done a clay mask in quite a while. So I figured it was time. And I wanted to do something a little different than what I did the last time because I only have a few masks with me. That's why I went out to Kmart or Kmart Target to buy some different ones rather than having to do the same one week after week. But after tomorrow, next Monday, we should be back in the, in the RV and everything should be status quo once again. All right. Look how ruddy my face looks after this. I think it looks pretty good. 
All right, I'm gonna get the rest of this off. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. I got all this um, clay mask off. I did get it in my hair, but it's okay because I'm gonna take a shower in a little bit, either tonight or in the morning before we leave here. So here's my standby cream. It's the Retinol Belinda, Belinda, Belinda cream. I have loved this stuff. And I think I got this too in um, Marshalls or TJ Maxx, one of those places. And you only need a little bit. And I just put it all over. A little bit goes a long way. There. Oh. Okay, so um, has anybody out there ever had their eyebrows? I can't think of They're not tattooed, but it's something else. And I can't think of the name now. Anyway, if you have ever had your eyebrows done, either tattooed or microbladed, let me know because I am looking into getting that. You see how white my eyebrows are? They're so white. Okay, well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that little bell. You'll be notified when I upload another video. And don't forget to be kind to one another. It is a rough world out there. I love you all and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.